All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Go Math Unit 6. So we're talking about conversion rates, and we're moving things from one form of measurement into another, or something like that. So I might look at uh, finding what's known as a conversion factor. So a conversion factor, now I'm thinking back to myself, factors, factors. What are those things that I can break other numbers down into that I can make some two numbers relate? almost in terms of like a unit rate or something like that. So if I had, for example, um, seven yards is how many feet? Seven yards is how many feet? Well, I might ask myself, all right, well, how many feet are in one yard? Well, I know that there's a ratio of three feet to one yard which could also be written as a fraction. Three feet to one yard, which is how many feet in seven yards? Does this look familiar? Because it should. It's essentially going back to unit five, which went all the way back to fractions in unit two. We could look at unit rate of unit four. We could look at uh, factors of unit one. They're the same thing that we just keep doing. We're seeing where we can take that math, that little bit of problem solving and apply it over and over and over again, make this really easy. So again, if I have three feet to one yard, how many feet to seven yards? How do I go from one to seven? I multiply by seven. And whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. What's three times seven? 21. And I might say to myself, all right, well, if I know there's three feet, can I just take seven yards and then multiply them by three feet and I get 21? Yes, I can. And that's pretty easy when I'm talking about yards and feet. But if I'm moving into other things, I might want to remember to set this up as an equivalent fraction. Something along the lines of convert 33 feet to yards. Okay, so again, they're showing us all of this, which does kind of make sense, but they're kind of making it a little bit wordy. And I know I talk a lot, but I say the same thing over and over again. I would convert 30 feet to yards. So the first thing I'm dealing with are feet and yards, and I would ask myself, well, what is my rate? How many feet to one yard? Well, there's three feet whoop, to one yard, and I have 33 feet. So what do I do? How do I go from three to 33? Times 11. And whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom, and I end up with 11 yards. And you might say, well, Mr. W, if I know that there's three feet in a yard and I have 33 feet, can I just divide it by three and then I would get yards? Yes, absolutely you can. And that's sort of what we did here, right? Um, let's take a look at another one. So we're sort of making some short work of this, which is what we really want to do because math's not hard unless we make it hard. And we don't really need to do that. So if we're seeing where things fit together and how all of this makes sense, we can make this very easy. So a Boeing 777-300 passenger airplane measures 73 and 9 centimeters from nose to tail. What is the length of the airplane in centimeters? First off, I don't know why you need to know this, but it's a problem that we were thrown out. There's some distractors in this. 777, doesn't really matter what the plane is. And a 300 passenger, I don't care how many people it holds, right? I need to know that I have 73 and 9, uh, 9 tenths meters and I need that air, that length in centimeters. And it doesn't even matter that it's an airplane. It could be, you know, a hockey rink or whatever I wanted to solve. So I set up my conversion factor, or I set up my equivalent rate, my equivalent ratio, however I want to look at this, right? And I know that I have 73 and 9 tenths meters, so I'm dealing with two things. I've got meters and centimeters. So how many centimeters are in one meter? Well, if I looked at my meter stick that I have right here, and I know you can't see it, but I can, uh, every line in here is a centimeter. And I know that centa or cent, per cent means out of 100, because cent means 100. So centimeter, there's 100 centimeters in one meter. This is where our language arts is coming back to help us out. So I have one meter is 100 centimeters, well then, how many centimeters are 73 and 9 tenths meters? Well, how did I go from 1 to 73 and 9 tenths? I multiplied by 73 and 9 tenths. So let's do the same thing on the bottom. And I'm going to come over here just to show that work. 73 and 9 tenths. 
and I get 0, 0, 9. Place value, because I moved over one, 0, 0, 3. Two more place values, because I moved over two, 0, 0, 7. Add it all up, and I get 73,900, which doesn't really seem right to me, because I have a decimal right here. One digit to the right in my problem, one in my answer. My answer is 7,390 centimeters. Now this is something where in this unit, the unit rate is really going to play a role. You need a label on this. Because if you don't have a label on this, we don't know what we're comparing. Are we talking about meters to centimeters? Are we talking about yards to feet? It doesn't make sense unless I actually have a label on it. Let's try one more. Seventy-two feet equals how many yards? I'm going to go ahead and cross this part up. Seventy-two feet equals how many yards? So I set up my conversion, and I know that I am talking about feet, and I'm talking about yards. And it doesn't matter which is on top and which is on bottom, as long as they're doing the same thing. Well, I know that there are three feet to one yard. <clears throat> so I need seventy-two feet to how many yards? Well, how do I go from three to seventy-two? Well, that's actually times twenty-four. And if you didn't know that. We're going to divide by 3. 3 goes into 7 2 times. Bring down my 2. 3 goes into 12 4 times. So 3 times 24 is 72. Whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom. So 1 times 24. I think my battery's dying here. 1 times 24 gives me 24. So again, how many yards are in 72 feet? 24. So take a look at your unit rate. Make some kind of conversion between the two of them and make it make sense.